In 100 years, the TV has taken many shapes and sizes. Here's the evolution of the television, from the 1920s to today. The 1920s gave us the mechanical as well as the electronic television. The first model of the mechanical television had a small display on the right, and a massive cabinet. Large cabinets were necessary in order to fit a nip cow disc. This disc contained a spiral pattern of holes, which was used with a light source to create moving images. The tech was pretty simple, but the peculiar shapes of the televisions were very impressive. Such as the octagon television. Video quality was as crude as the technology. Facial features were not recognizable unless makeup was worn in a specific way. In the 1930s we saw more refined televisions, with better designs and resolution. We also saw the switch to electronic televisions by the mid-30s. This decade saw a giant leap in video quality, from 100 scan lines at the start of the decade to 405. The 1940s brought us even higher resolutions, including the NTSC standard with 480 lines of resolution and better audio. In the 1940s it was difficult to produce CRT screens larger than 12 inches, so big screen TVs implemented projection techniques. The 1950s brought us the short-lived porthole televisions, but most importantly, it brought us the NTSC color standard. Zenith created a wired remote in 1950 called Lazy Bones to control tuning and volume, followed by a wireless remote in 1955 called the Flashmatic. It was basically a flashlight which had to be pointed at different corners of the television. Anyone with a flashlight could control the TV set, the following year Zenith introduced an ultrasonic remote. When used it produced a click and an ultrasonic sound to control each function. Functions were sometimes triggered by natural occurring sounds. Like wireless remote controls, color was a premium feature that did not catch on until the following decade. The sales of color TVs boomed in the 60s, they were now more affordable and the colors more vivid. The 1970s brought TV designs for every taste and need. There was the upgradable television with easily accessible circuit boards. The futuristic televisions, which employs curvy design patterns. The colorful TVs that looked more like toys. and the portable combos, which normally included radios and cassette decks. Television as furniture lost its appeal towards the mid-1980s. 
these were quickly being replaced with plastic encased sets and color projection televisions with larger screens and minimalist cabinets. The space screen 45 was a compromise of minimalism, large screen and the traditional cabinet. The 1980s gave way to the first LCD TVs. They were tiny and pixelated, but it was a huge step forward. These portable TVs were a lot more affordable and included additional functions. This decade was all about Sony's Trinitron technology, which had been introduced 20 years earlier. As Sony's patent had run out, all competitors were free to use the technology. Combos such as this became really popular in the 1990s. They included FM radio and VCR. In the 1990s, Casio continued to improve their portable LCD TVs. A preview of one of the biggest tech of the following decade was introduced at the end of the 1990s, the flat HD TV, priced around $19,000. Throughout the 2000s, CRT televisions were still quite popular, as they were inexpensive and could access HD channels using a converter box. During this decade, LCD tech was finally able to compete with plasma giving us LCD HD TVs. Then LED TVs arrived, which were predicted to be superior to both, but was debatable. Whoa. Oh my! A few brands experimented with ambience lighting to make television more immersive. Through the decade, HDTVs became pretty smart. They were able to display content from your computer, as well as connect to different services on the internet. We started the 2010s with a whole new set of technologies, 4K, LED, and 3D, which all had just been introduced. Curved screens became the premium feature for a few years, it was meant to reduce glare and improve immersion by taking advantage of our peripheral vision. This works well for computer monitors, but it's barely noticeable on TVs. Something truly impressive was the introduction of wallpaper TVs. These are almost as thin as a credit card. The latest feature is ambient mode, which lets you match your TV to your decor. It lets you use your TV as a canvas for art, or to match your wallpaper. The 2020s promise many new technologies, such as the rollable TV. It is completely hidden when it's off and when it's on, it grows to the size of the content or application. This is great for calendar and music apps, and avoids the black bars in extra-wide movies. This is another discrete TV technology but it will likely be used more as the centerpiece in a room to display art, than for entertainment.
the double-sided TV will be great for gaming and for commercial applications. Tech is changing pretty fast, and so are TVs. What do you think is next for the evolution of television?